Hello and a very warm welcome to another session of facility planning. The topic that we are going to discuss today is various design considerations and the structural regulations for a hotel project. I am Chavi Sahai and I work as an assistant professor at AISSMS College of Hotel Management and Catering Technology. The learning objective for today's topic are first to learn about various design considerations as in what are the things that we consider before designing a hotel and secondly to learn about the structural regulations as laid by the municipal authority in respect to the hotels. So first we come to what is facility planning as we have covered previously facilities planning is a process of decision making as in various things that we consider which would suit us bet best according to the situation and it is mainly concerned with the accommodation aspect of the organization facilities planning in the relation in the hotel is a, is a process of designing the accommodation and service facilities of the hotel mainly rooms and the fnb outlets that are there in the hotel so first we come to designing the hotel the first point that we consider is the location and site we have to consider which site has the most positive points and less negative points and from there we move on we have to consider the financial aspect how much does the land cost etc and various other considerations like transportation accessibility the surrounding etc next we come to the building plans building plans are four types that we are discussing today first is modular slip arch and a cylinder design coming to modular type of construction of building these four designs we have to choose amongst them uh, depending on the need that we have with our building the modular structure or the modular design is a very recent style of construction wherein the room units are constructed separately at another site and then they are hoisted by a crane and moved or set on the construction plot where the building is being constructed the benefit is that it cuts down on the construction time and cost the example is a travel lodge which is there in the usa they adopt this style of construction next we come to slip forming slip forming style is a very old style which was uh, which has been copied from the 1930s wherein this style was used to construct the grain storage silos so a form or the outer structure was made of timber then hydraulic cranes were used to pour concrete in it nowadays th this method of construction is used in elevator cores in lot of buildings hospital offices and hotels one of the examples is the soma hotel moving on the third style of building design consideration that we have to make is or we can consider is a cylinder design you can see the picture that it is apt according to the name it has a very distinctive appearance all the services and the facilities are located at the central core and the rooms would be out on the periphery of the building so all rooms will have a view because all the rooms would be facing outwards this style of building has a minimum wind resistance so the wear and tear of the building is very less uh, this style is very useful in area where the cost of land is very high and the space available to us is less so you can see in minimum space we've constructed a huge tower and all the rooms are having a view the example of such style of building is uh, the radisson hotel in berlin moving on the last design consideration in terms of the building is the arch style of designing in this style of designing there are no beams used while construction the rooms are well ventilated the air flow is very good in this style of building the cost of air conditioning or heating is comparatively less 
the style of building is fire resistant all the rooms are located on the concave arch of the building so all the rooms would generally have a nice view depending on the location all the facilities again like restaurants your gyms spa etc would be towards the central core and the construction is comparatively easier compared to other styles of buildings now we come to discuss the room layout plans wherein we'll decide how are we going to place the rooms in the corridor space that is there here we are not discussing about the interiors of a room whereas the placement of rooms in the building so first way by which we can decide upon the room layout can be double loaded this is the most common style of room layout it is most economical in terms of space but this style of corridor would require two staircases for uh, we for us to approach the corridor the number of rooms that we can fit in this style of room plan would be 16 to 24 depending on the width of the corridor roughly it should be 60 feet then we can fit in minimum 16 rooms and the length would decide the number of rooms as much as we, we can go ahead next is the a double loaded t shaped corridor double loaded means all the rooms would be facing each other one room in front of the other this is similar to the double loaded that we saw previously it's just that the corridor is in a t shape this would require three staircases to approach the corridor this is also economical according to the space next is your single loaded corridor this is not very economical in terms of usage of space but it is very desirable usually the properties which have a very nice view have a single loaded corridor wherein each room can have a balcony which oversees the view it gives ample space to every room and the number of rooms which we can fit in this style would be 12 to 30 dip, depending on the length of the corridor the minimum width should be 32 feet moving ahead this is a square block room layout plan wherein there is a central core and the rooms are all on the sides all the services would be towards the central core services like a uh, floor pantry and other ancillary areas this style of building construction is very compact it is useful for small sites wherein the space available in terms of land is less and this style is very ideal for a tower style of construction or a high rise building next we come to a y plan the structure is a bit complicated construction wise but it may have an aesthetic appeal it re requires three staircases in the entire building to approach all the corridors but then it causes some issues while placing the public areas because the building style is such similar to this is the tri arc plan wherein all the rooms are located in three arc shapes the rooms would be on the concave curve of the building it takes up more space than the y plan but the benefit is that the rooms will have wider bathrooms and a dresser area because the of the arch shape that is there then we come to the circular style of building the only thing that we have to be careful about this style of building is that while planning there should be no inward facing room otherwise the room would have a view of a wall but the rooms that we can fit per floor would be 16 to 24 depending on the circumference of the building and similar to this is a circular style of room layout with a central core again it is very similar to a square block wherein all the services or the public areas would be located on the central core and the rooms would be on the outer circumference but again we have to make sure that there are no inward facing room all this has to be considered while designing the hotel next we discuss a few structural regulations which are applicable in india 
and as laid down by the municipal authorities for the hotel project first is that there should be alarms at all locations possible and any person who notices fire heat or smoke has to report it to the fire brigade immediately has to start the fire alarm and another regulation as laid down by the municipal authorities is that there must be fire drills conducted in the hotel and it should be conducted once every 3 months and all the occupants must participate in it next is the various signs and plans that has been laid down it is mandatory that there should be signages regarding the lift landing at all the floors there should be a floor number indication on every floor the staircase and elevator in identification sign should be there that there is an elevator here or there are a staircase leading to another floor and the hotel should also follow eco friendly practices wherein they should have systems in place of segregating the garbage disposing of all the liquid and solid waste that is generated in the hotel so these are some of the structural regulations and rules imposed on the hotel by the municipal authorities and we have to abide by them i thank you all for listening in please follow the link given in the description box to attempt the quiz i would also like to give credit to the following sites from where i have sourced some material for this pr presentation thank you very much